All right, this is part two of InvestorsGuru.com site tour video. We're going to start with the uh, top 30 stocks, top 30 small caps. This is our closely watched uh, list of 30 stocks. Their symbols over here, you can click on that to get a detailed quote, their name, various other information when we started following them, the price we started following them. Um, the last price is updated. Um, it's 15-minute delayed quotes, uh, so this is a real real-time 15 minute delayed uh, watch list. Uh, it shows uh, how we're doing, uh, how the stock's doing since we started following them. And uh, so, our, um, and our future stocks are listed here with a link to their home page. We also um, have a past small caps list if you want to see which stocks we've taken off the list and how they did. And uh, we also have another list, uh, DJIA value ranked, it's called. And it's uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, Dow 30 stocks. List ranked from 1 to 30 according to this book, YouAreWealthyStartingNow.com, uh, which scores um, the Dow 30 stocks according to these five uh, scores. And there's, of course, uh, quote links and uh, their prices updated. Uh, this list, uh, these scores are updated every every weekend, but their prices are updated throughout the day. All right, uh, we would post uh, their profiles there. We also have our small cap stock observer newsletters posted on it on the home page and emailed to our members and archived here. Our my preferences. Now, this is for members only. You would have to log in in order to access this. Uh, first one is news by email. Um, you would receive our featured stocks news when it's released. Um, I, we'd recommend you keep this when selected so that when a new company is added, you'll get their news. Um, and then if there's if you're getting news releases, if it's too much or if you're not interested in a certain company, just log in, deselect that company, and you won't receive that company's news any longer. Uh, there's my my portfolio. This is probably the most favorite uh, of of these my preferences. Um, you would log in, enter your um, uh, your symbol, your number of shares, the price you paid, and the rest of the information is filled out for you. Uh, we've got some sample stocks in here. There's an option. There's a China fund, a Latin fund, one of our featured stocks, a uh, um, an ETF, uh, units, whatever. Um, and uh, you would enter those in and um, enter the U.S. stocks under this way to go into the top section and the Canadian to go into the bottom section. And um, the overall values, how much you paid and how much it's worth now, how much you're up in dollar terms and percentage terms, and the totals is in the middle section and how the stock is doing today um, the share price how much it's up or down how much you're up or down overall in dollar terms and in percentage terms in your portfolio and those totals and uh, you can select down here whether you just want to log in and view it on the site, whether you want to uh, have that portfolio emailed to you every day after the market closes, or whether you just want to email to you on Friday, click the update button and it'll be saved there. So you can use it as a watch list here, or you can get it in your email or both. Totally up to you. Now, similarly, uh, we have a My Watch List and Alerts. Uh, information is displayed a little bit differently. Same symbols are used here. Um, as samples. Um, so it'll show the last price, the tick, the dollar change, percentage change, open, high, low, close, the volume. And uh, these are stocks you might be watching. You don't yet own, but you're keeping an eye on. Um, you you would check down here whether you want that watch list emailed to you every day or just on Fridays. Or some people just like to set alerts, greater than or less than alerts. So they put a stock on there that they somebody told them about or however they came across it and they'll say okay let me know when that stock gets over this price or let me know when that stock gets under this price and um, they'll set those alerts and uh, you would get an email uh, when an alert is triggered all of your email all of your alerts are sent in one uh, my alerts email so a lot of people like that um, lastly there's the my IR info which is a way for you to get in contact with uh, IR reps at uh, uh, our featured stocks uh, to get their investor packages uh, to get on their newsletter um, it doesn't violate our privacy policy because you don't have to fill this out you don't even need to be logged in to use it their information's at the top there's a quote link there's a website link um, their IRF's email address their name their phone numbers so you would just enter your information any comments or questions here and then you would select whether you want them to contact you by email work phone home phone mobile whatever and uh, then you would check off whether you want their investor package whether you want it sent by email or by regular mail or both uh, whether you want them to contact you and uh, whether you want a copy of the email that's being sent to them so we're we're just helping you make contact with them and helping them make contact f with you to um, you know get on their newsletter or to get their investor package uh, okay next would be um, 
our bulletin boards, um, our bulletin boards we think are organized more intuitively instead of having one thread per stock. Um, we'll have one forum per stock, but within each forum are uh, a variety of topics. Uh, right now for Quote Media, we have just their recent news headlines, but we could have topics on uh, anything, their financials, their their um, their technology, if they're a, a resource company on their properties or nearby properties or expiration, uh, it's endless. So you can hone in what subject instead of having this constant cheerleading or bashing going on. It allows you to focus on a specific topic and you can see how it's organized um, where you can add your avatar, you can uh, um, um, you get ranked according to the number of posts that you make, you can uh, rate other posters and the posts, um, you can set up a little profile for yourself in a website address if you have one, the size, the color, um, you, there's, it supports a BB code and HTML, it allows up to three attachments per post, RSS feed to add it to your website or your vlog if you want to follow a certain thread. Um, there's all kinds of features here that allows you to get the information that you want and more importantly not get all the noise that you don't want um, so uh, you know we'd like you to check out our bulletin boards and uh, once you become a member and, uh, and join our investor community and, uh, and uh, you know follow us on our bulletin boards our Guru Trader tweet is, um, like you saw on the home page, uh, that's the most recent tweet. Well, if you go on here, if you miss one, you can click on here to see all of our tweets. So um, if you want to subscribe in real time to get it on your PC email, your uh, your your cell phone uh, text message, or your BlackBerry, go to uh, twitter.com slash Guru Trader tweet and subscribe, and you'll get that in real time. Or if you miss anything, like I said, just go here. Uh, our About Us tabs, you might want to read our mission, our background, our private privacy policy, our disclaimer, um, or if you want to contact us directly, um, we provide a contact us form with uh, three email links, uh, feedback, webmaster, corporate services, um, or fill out the form and uh, indicate uh, what it's regarding. All right, lastly, detailed quote pages. You would enter symbol up here or just on a featured stock, just click on there their uh, detail quote link and uh, this is what you will see. The general detail quote you will get when you enter in a symbol. The information you're used to receiving is displayed over here. Uh, there's additional information like for example the 52 week high, it'll tell you when it made that. There's a chart there on the date and when it made the high and the low. Um, there's another interactive chart here, um, you know, one month, one year. If you're really into charting, there's a charts tab um, where you'll find a variety of chart settings that you can save. Uh, there's Java charts, there's open, high, low, close, there's um, um, candle charts, uh, etc. It's, it's it's really endless what you can do. And um, below the, um, the the detail quote um, are news links. Again, if you click on those, they'll pop up the most the the the, the news release itself. What you saw on the home page. Now, but across here um, there's a variety of tabs that you don't get on on other sites for example on the markets tab if you want to quickly see what's going on in the markets um, you'll click that tab and you'll see the New York Stock Exchange NASDAQ S&P you'll see advancers decliners and some general market news in addition to the news that's on our home page um, market another markets movers table and again keep in mind your watch list is always over here following you and once you log in this membership privileges box will uh, will disappear uh, there's sub tabs under here markets indices movers world I haven't explored everything that that's on all these tabs uh, it's just endless I find new things every day the depths level 2 um, and time of sales you might want to check that out uh, if it's an optionable stock it calls put spread straddles you might want to plan those and get this, your option symbols by using this tab. It's all on one one screen. I mentioned the charts, the news, um, the company tab. I'm checking out a new company. I'm, I, I usually check on on uh, on this tab. It provides all their contact information, websites, phone numbers, what industry, sub industries they're in, um, who their um, auditor is. Uh, uh, number of employees, etc. The, the key ratio, share information, profile, it's it's all there. Um, the financial sheet, their income statement, their cash flow, uh, annually and quarterly, um, uh, that's all uh, provided there. Now, the uh, insiders tab. 
uh, that's one I look at uh, very closely, especially for smaller stocks. I want to see what the insiders are doing. Are they buying the stock? Are they selling the stock? You can click on uh, each board member to drill down to find out when uh, they're buying or selling. Um, or you can click on this View Section 16 Filings link, and, um, and then you can hone your search um, a little bit more detailed by the type of transaction that they've done, and you can view that in your browser or um, uh, in a word file will show the uh, their earnings estimates uh, st stock targets um, you know like if you put in general electric or Microsoft you get all that information a variety of charts the historical tab I like as well because um, I like to know how the stock is trending at certain times of the year at the end of the month <clears throat> so I can enter a start end date and I can find that information out it's pretty well anything you want to know about a company can be found on here you'll you'll find that our site uh, other than a banner ad at the top for our featured stocks and uh, opt-in uh, news by email links and to see their profiles or their videos or whatever, that's the only advertising you'll find anywhere on our site. Everything's meant to be organized in one area so you don't have to go all over the place and trip through uh, unknown and uh, endless ads and click forever. So it's organized and I think we've proven our point that we're the ultimate stock research site. We look forward to you becoming a member. Um, hope to see you soon. Uh, thank you for your time. Bye.